So now, guys, we're going to move on to the AFC South as we get to the last two here of the division winner predictions. Then we will quickly get to our wild card predictions, get to championship game predictions, as well as uh, NFL awards, and close things out with the scolding hot, Lonnie's hotline, which is going to go four for four this upcoming week. So getting to the AFC South, uh, Javon, who do you got winning it? Uh, so I have the AFC South. I got the Texans. Love CJ Stroud. What they did last year, they did nothing but get better. Um, I mean, they added Stephon Diggs. They get Tank Dell back. They get they resign Nico Collins. You add Joe Mixon. Um, they added Daniel Hunter um, to this defense. So I mean, I I feel like it's a no brainer for them to win a division. I wish I would have put some money on them to win it last year. I think they're odd. Their win total was literally five and a half games last year. So, I mean, they will literally went from like worst first. So um, second, I do have the Indianapolis Colts. Um, I think Anthony Richardson is going to be one of the nice young quarterbacks that we kind of talk about when we talk about, you know, CJ Stroud, Jordan Love. I think Anthony Richardson will end up being one of those guys. Why do I think that he has Shane Steichen as his offensive coordinator? So, He's going to be a big part for them. I mean, Shane Steichen and Gardner Minshew were literally, a, uh, you could argue, a play away from being in the playoffs. Um, I forgot who it was that dropped the fourth down play at the end of the uh, the, the season finale last year. So um, I think the Colts come in second. I think the Jags are a third-place team. I think Trevor Lawrence and the, and the boys step back a little bit. Um, I don't know if third place gets Dougie P fired, but – um, they lose Calvin Ridley and they, you know, they replace him with, who is it? Um, Gabe Davis. Um, I think Brian, uh, Thomas Jr. From LSU is going to be, uh, a, a really, really good receiver for them. Um, he's been tearing it up in practice from what I've heard. You got, uh, Travis Etienne in the backfield. Um, I think he's going to be able to make some noise. Evan Ingram, one of the league leaders and receptions that I mentioned earlier in the year is going to be, um, a solid addition, but. Um, other than that, I'm not sure how good Trevor Lawrence is, um, along with how good this division is. Um, I think the Texans are better. I think the Colts are better. And so I'm just going to have the Jags in third. And with that being said, shout out to my boy Ev. Um, got the Titans coming in last. Um, you have DeAndre Hopkins, who was hurt. He's saying that does not matter. I feel like that's huge for a second year quarterback in Will Levis. Um, you do add a Calvin Ridley to this offense, but you do also lose Derrick Henry. Um, I think that's a big part of it. I think Callahan is a, probably a, going to be a really, really good offensive play caller for them. Um, don't know how good Will Levis is. I do like their win total, though. The win total is six and a half. I think they could win seven games. That's They can go seven and ten. I like that's something very doable for them. The Titans usually shock somebody at home one of these division games. So they might be, they might beat the Texans at home or they might beat the Colts at, at home. You might see one of those games where it's like, Oh shit, the Texans or the, the Titans just won. So um, year one, seven and 10 for, um, for Callahan is you, you consider that as a win. I think when you have Will Levis as your quarterback um, and everything that they kind of have to offer too. I do want to point out that um, I do think um the secondary for the Titans is one of the better uh, secondaries in the league. You get a Legereus need. Um, you get a Quandre Diggs. Um, people are going to try and say Jamal Adams is up there. Jamal Adams is a linebacker at this point in his career. Um, I don't know how good he is at covering, but I mean, he's really good at, you know, being on the outside and being able to make tackles in open space. So I do think, their secondary is one of the better secondaries in the league. Just wanted to point that out. But, I mean, it kind of all depends on how good Will Levis is. So, that's where I have it out. Texans are going to win the AFC South. Javon, you have a question from a member of Kaz's audience. As a Chicken says, yo, I'm coming from Kaz's. Is that a Marvel versus Capcom shirt? Also, yeah. Yes, Derek is. Carr taking the MVP this year. Oh, no, plus no, 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 go R run, run. It's a trap. I'm telling you right now. I literally picked the Saints to go to the NFC champ. It's a trap. I'm telling you right now. 
I am tell. What was the name, Sean? Pull it, pull it back up. Chicken. Pull it back up. Chicken. I'm telling you right now. Name chicken. <laughs> for God's sake, do not fall into the trap of the Saints. Yes, the Saints have an outstanding. When I say their roster is literally outstanding, like <laughs> they have one of the best. They have like one. They have Demario Davis. They have Marshawn Lattimore. They have Cam Jordan. They have guys on defense. You have Chris Olave. You have Alvin Kamara, who's one of my favorite running backs in the league. You have all these guys. Derek Carr is hot ass. It's not going to matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. Nothing matters if your quarterback's bad. Now, if because Derek Carr is a little bit fragile, if he does get hurt or something bad were to happen and he gets benched, you have Spencer Rattler in the mix a little bit. We are talking about a different team. I think Spencer Rattler was literally one of the – yes, I agree with you. They have one of the best rosters in the NFL. None of that matters if Derek Carr is bad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Derek Carr is terrible. It just I can't tell my boys if my boy is trolling or not. And literally throws the games away, like when you bet on them on Thursday Night Football, to beat the Jags, and they can't do it at home. So I'm just – please don't fall into the trap of the Saints. I fell into it last year. I literally said they were going to the NFC Championship game. I think they went seven and ten last year, so that's kind of for you to find out, I guess. You'll, I guess, you'll just see when you when you start seeing Derek Carr, like, oh, Derek Carr is thrown for three hundred yards, but they're down ten points. How is that possible? Well, uh, I appreciate uh, members of Kaz's audience for for joining us here in our YouTube comments. Um, and one last thing from Chicken. <laughs> Derek Carr t- t- uh, taking the MVP, thirty plus TDs. Vegas giving me twenty and one and a half. Push. I asked my bookie to give me a twenty-seven and a half plus line. Your that bitch at plus twenty-nine. You took the alt line. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And also, I love it. sounds like we got a gambler in the in the comments section. Love it. We sure do. So, chicken, make sure to stay tuned to the end to hear what Vonnie's hotline got for you this week. Um, and also, shout out to Gray Wolf, who is also from Kaz's stream. So, Kaz, the people, <clears throat> your people have been waiting to hear your AFC South pick. Before before we hear it, though, obviously, Javon just picked the Texans. I also have the Texans. Kevin has the Texans. Are you making it unanimous, Kaz? Because uh, there was a comment earlier that says that the Texans seem like a trap at minus 200 based on the odds. So, Kaz, are you going to make it unanimous? Uh, I will make it unanimous, but it's just the same thing as, as I said about the AFC um, East. Like, dude, I don't know, man. The Colts should be pretty damn good. I mean, the, I'm I'm crazy high on Anthony Richardson. I do think he's Cam Newton, like, reincarnated. I really do. Um, if he can stay healthy, just with a little bit of help on offense, with him being healthy, it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? The guy's got a rocket arm. Um, he's hella fast. He's gigantic. Um, and he obviously was really good at college, and that's saying a lot because you guys know I'm not a college guy, but it's like that dude is a unit, man. Like, I mean, his injury last year was – was granted, he was running the ball a lot. He was, but his injury last year, it's like I think he, he learned from that, and he's going to play a lot better. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Colts if the Colts take it. Um, somebody in my chat too earlier said that uh, – actually, I think it was Gray Wolf – said that the Jags could be a sleeper, which I think is crazy, but – Oh, more for my stream. <laughs> what up, Ray? Um, but, yeah, I think that it's going to be either the Colts or the Texans. I'm taking the Texans, the Colts um, in a very close second. Um, then I'm going to Jags, and then uh, we're going to end with the Tennessee Titans. Um, I kind of low-key, as much as I liked the Texans run last year, and I love C.J. Stroud, I like what they're doing over there. It's Because finally, for the first time in my life, I can see the Texans be good. Like, I've... I, I'm ordering everybody in here, right? Obviously. And it's like, man, I the Texans have never been good. Like they just never been good. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool seeing the transition, man. Like the, the, the highlight of, of watching the Texans when I was younger was well, I mean, they got Andre Johnson and, and uh, Aaron Foster. That's pretty cool. I think they made maybe one or two playoff appearances with those guys. I don't I don't really remember. That's like the Deshaun Watson era. No, I'm not. <laughs> um I, they made a playoffs with him too, right? I believe. Yeah. They were up yeah, twenty-one but, to zero at one point in time against Mahomes yeah, and the Chiefs, yeah, and then lost. Even more, no, Tony. Even worse, twenty-four zero. Yeah. So they they pulled a uh, they pulled a uh, an LA Chargers against the uh, Jacksonville oh. Jaguars two years ago. Yeah. But anyways, no. So um, I think it's cool, but for some reason, man, I think Toddy made a good point. Um, having Shane Steichen as your head coach, that dude's a mastermind, bro, and he's he's a guy who's he almost did it with Minshew. He really did. 
And I think Minshew is one of the best backups in the league. And hell, he might be the best backup in the league. I mean, who knows? Because he's done it on how many teams now? And it's like, Minshew's kind of that guy where if, you, if your guy goes down, you want him to come in there. He can actually get the job done. He can get you three or four wins if, if your guys are out for, for quite a few weeks. So um, Anthony Richardson is, is probably – double the quarterback Minshew um, is and ever will be. And I think he might shock us, but I got to go with the Texans, man. The Texans just, they have the better coaching. Um, yes, I said better coaching. Uh, I think they're hungrier. And I think that they have something that, that they want to prove, man. I think the Texans, CJ Stroud alone is not going to let this slip out of his hands. So the Texans are going to win that division. I did want to add on the Colts. The Colts I'm seeing are, are plus 330 to win it, the win of the division. Um, the Colts receiving core is kind of flying under the radar. They have Michael Pittman Jr., who they signed. Adonai yeah, Mitchell, the receiver that they got out of to the star receiver out of Texas, yep, who was Josh a stud. Davis. Josh Downs in the slot is a sleeper who was kind of battling injuries last year. Um, and I think he got hurt in the pre or in training camp this year. Um, I do think their receiving core is very solid. Um, and you also have Jonathan Taylor at running back, too. So, I mean, that helps mm-hmm. when you have one of the better running backs in the league. So, with I think their offense is can make some things happen with Shane Stocking at the helm calling plays. So they might have a better offense than the Baltimore Ravens, man. If you think about it, if you compare yeah. the offenses, yeah. I mean, I mean, you got you got Derrick Henry and Jonathan Taylor. We can obviously give King Henry the, the slight edge for certain reasons. I would just say the coach from, from the from the coaching's perspective, I would rather have Shane Stocking. Like if you gave Lamar Jackson Shane Stocking, it'd be game over. It would be game over. So exactly. So that's kind of where I'm looking at it at. You, know, you got Zay Flowers, Pittman. You got Josh Downs and Bateman. You got, you know, it's yep. like that's very similar if you think about it. And it's and they're in a in a weaker division. So I would not be surprised if the Colts if the Colts take it. But the Texans, I, I got to stick with my guns. All right. So-